If we're home, it's not going to be in time. The Cougars have won it. And the game is over. Charleston hangs on to win it at home. Hello and welcome to the Charleston Sports Network. We're here with a second year head basketball coach Earl Grant getting ready coach to take a look at the upcoming season and coach we said it is your second year but kind of really your first this is your first opportunity to really have a chance to work with your kids during the offseason. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you guys did during the offseason. Well I thought we had a great offseason. Uh, certainly we went out and, and improved our returning players. Thought guys got bigger, stronger and faster and really improved on their skill level. And then certainly it helped for us to go out and sign five new players on the recruiting trail. And so I was excited about the fact that, you know, our players really improved. And also we were able to go add some depth to our roster. You're talking about depth, Coach, a lot of new faces this year uh, on this Cougar basketball team. Let's start, let's talk about some of the freshmen. Let's start out with Grant Riller, a guy that can uh, very much put the basketball in the hoop, a freshman from Florida. Yeah, Grant's a fantastic player. Uh, he's a combo guard. He can play the point. He can play the two. Uh, he can really, really score the ball. He's fast. He's athletic. So I'm excited that we have him. I think he'll give us a great scoring punch and, and uh, you know, and give us, you know, some electricity on, on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, Coach, a young man that's from the Columbia area, however, played preps uh, last year. Jarrell Brantley, a big body, a big physical CAA body. Uh, give us the, the preview on him. Yeah, Jarrell, you know, he doesn't look like a freshman. Uh, he's big and physical, uh, about 235 pounds at 6'7". Uh, he's a power forward, uh, very skilled with the ball, you know, dribbling and passing the ball, but powerful around the basket. He's led us in rebounding here uh, over the summer, so we're really excited to have his physicality in a combination with his skill level. I think he can do a lot of different things on the floor. Coach, unfortunately, uh, we're not going to have Joe Chile this year, the captain, the leader, the junior out for the year. Marquise Pointer, another freshman, uh, have to play some big minutes this year for your basketball team. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, obviously it's a tough blow with Joe uh, missing this season. He did a great job this spring and summer improving his game and really uh, becoming a better player from an athletic standpoint and a skill standpoint. You know, but I'm excited that we have Marquise, a uh, big physical guard uh, that's accustomed to winning and he should be able to step in and do a lot of great things for us from the point guard position. Peyton Halsey, a, another big body. And Coach, you've had a lot of emphasis on getting guys more physically developed this season. I'll talk a little bit about Peyton. Yeah, no, I think Peyton's unique. Uh, certainly he played at Western Kentucky his freshman, year, I mean his freshman year, and he started at the point guard first 10 games. So, you know, having him, uh, a guy who did it at the Division I level as well as the junior college level, uh, he'll be able to, him and Marquise back and forth, you know, playing that point guard position. He's big and physical. Uh, he's a great passer uh, and got a great IQ for the game. So I'm excited that we have him. Certainly we're going to need him. A fifth year transfer adds a little maturity uh, to this team. James Bourne uh, played at Winthrop. It's going to definitely add some depth on that front line. Yeah, you know, James is really big and physical. Uh, the best thing about him is he's played uh, four years of college basketball already. Uh, so he understands the, the grind of, of conference play. He understands the the grind of non-conference play, and he's physical and big, so you know I think he'll help Terrence and Nick and Donovan give us another physical guy around the basket, and I'm excited uh, that we have him on our roster. Coach, early parts of the season last year, the non-conference schedule, very challenging. You think about it, playing uh, LSU, West Virginia, Miami, uh, Davidson, Charlotte, uh, Texas A&M, just to name a few. This year, the schedule a little more favorable in our favor in terms of uh, teams that are definitely on our level. Talk a little bit about the schedule this upcoming season. You know, I think it's a great schedule. Uh, certainly, we wanted to, to have a challenge in the non-conference schedule to prepare us for the CAA. But at the same time, we wanted to get some games on the schedule where you know, our guys have a chance to go out and have some success. So it's still a very competitive schedule. Uh, we, we got a lot of teams that played in the NCAA tournament, uh, but they're more, more mid-major schools. So I'm excited about what we have on our schedule games against Coastal Carolina, East Carolina, West Carolina, as well as South Carolina State uh, in the Citadel. Those are, those are going to be challenging games, but at the same time, uh, it's not the same as last year where we had West Virginia and um, you know, UConn early in the season. So I'm really, really excited about the schedule that we put together, and, and I'm anxious to get the season started. Coach, you talked about the depth and kind of somewhat lack of last year. Now you're legitimately 11, 12 deep. Uh, talk about the change of style of basketball you want to play this year because you do have more options in terms of having more guys that you can throw out on the floor. Well, we certainly will up the tempo some. You know, we'll play faster. We'll get the ball up and down the floor a little quicker. We'll extend our defense more. Uh, but we're going to stick true to our core. 
you know, uh, do a lot of things we did last year, but just really focus on the execution of it and doing the things that we did better, uh, especially with having returning players. The last thing you want to do is change a lot because now those guys become first year guys again. So what I've noticed is in practice is the returners are helping me coach the new guys because it's their second year in the system. And it's a very successful system, so I'm excited about that. But we will speed up uh, our pace and, and get up and down the floor a little quicker. So Cougar fans, it's going to be an exciting season here at the TD Arena. Of course, tickets still available, 953-CFC, 953-CFC, or right here at cfcsports.com. A couple of things to remind you, November 1st, it'll be the block party down on George Street, right between, uh, let's see, that would be King Street and also Cumming Street. So come out 6 o'clock, a bunch of free activities going on. They'll have music, get autographs from the players and Coach Grant and his staff. Uh, just come out and meet the men and women's team. So that'll be Sunday, November 1st. Also, the free exhibition game will take place on Thursday, uh, November the 5th, as the Cougars will host Southern Wesleyan right here at the TD Arena. Tip-off for that will be at 7 p.m. And, of course, the home and season opener coming up Friday, November 13th at 7 p.m. here at the TD as the Cougars will host the SC State Bulldogs. So, again, tickets still available. Uh, we got season ticket packages as well as mini packages available. That's 953-CFC, 953-CFC.